and talk us through why you took on the 30-day challenge in terms of launching your own business in, in 30 days. For those that aren't aware of what it's what it's all about, you essentially have a daily challenge, a, a task to complete. Uh, there's a presentation to watch or it's a bit of a walkthrough from myself, and it can be anywhere from setting up your Instagram and perhaps some strategies around marketing to launching your first product, so different services you might offer, to how to maximize to retain your clients and track your, your lifetime value of your clients in your business. decided to launch my own online business to complement my, my full-time work. And having spoken to you, you'd mentioned that the 30-day challenge was an option and I was really intrigued and interested because I knew what I wanted. I knew that I wanted to have an online coaching business that sort of specialized in running and field sports and whatnot. But the, the nitty gritty, I guess, and the behind the scenes of how you set that all up. It was awesome to work with yourself and get some more information in that area. And what results did you specifically get over the 30 days? So, yeah, when I first started the, the 30 days, I was just sort of starting the business from scratch, really. So there wasn't too much to sort of compare to. But by the end of the 30 day challenge, having, like you spoke about a little bit earlier, having a bit of a social media presence with Instagram, TikTok, and everything like that. Being all set up and ready to go was, was super handy and just having structure, you know, so you sort of spoke about in the challenge, building your way through and setting up the back end of the business. So the ABN, having spreadsheets and trackers and having a bit of a schedule. So going from knowing what I wanted to do and not really having much of a plan to working through the challenge and coming out the other side with a bit of structure was, was super handy. Yep. And you, and you mentioned schedule. So is that something you have like a strategy in place regarding marketing to get new clients? Yeah. So across across the week, there's a bit of a focus on each day. So something that you spoke about in the challenge was scheduling and allocating certain time to certain things. So I feel like something that can happen is that you want to do everything all at once and you can have a big list of things you want to tick through and it can be quite overwhelming or I feel like you've got a lot to do. So I found that personally, what worked really well for me was allocating certain days to certain things so like you said it might be marketing earlier in the week where instead of trying to split your attention across all of the different areas you're sort of honing in and focusing on one thing at a time and putting all of your, your energy into that and that makes sure that i guess what you're delivering and the product ends up being a beneficiary of that and you mentioned also monitoring and sort of your results whether it be leads or sales What's your current process in yeah, monitoring th that type of data? Yeah, so using some of the advice from, from the challenge, I've got a spreadsheet that tracks all of the leads that are coming in, what those leads turn into, so whether they are converted into a client, what they're interested in. It might be that they're after an individualized running program, gym program, whatever it is, it gives me some information about where they're currently at. And then you can, that can sort of flow on month to month and you can see, all right, I've got X amount of leads in, July, X amount of leads in August, and you can sort of track along and understand how the business is tracking from uh, the back end. For the business at the moment, what's sort of your most important goals that you're focusing on both for yourself and in the business over the next three months? Yeah, so as I sort of, sort of touched on before, helping the clients that I've currently got, like you, you sort of said, it's much easier to retain a client once you've got them rather than finding new ones. So I think making sure that I'm upskilling myself, so I'm becoming and I'm delivering the best possible service. Um, yeah, I think having a mentor and having a good close circle and a good network is really important. So making sure as a coach and as a business owner, you're constantly improving so that your clients are possibly getting the best out of you is also important too. So yeah, I guess helping helping my current clients reach PVs, reach tar target times is really important to me. So. That's going to be something I'll be focusing on directly in the next three months. How have you maintained that schedule with your workload? Is it something that you're posting once a week, twice a week? Talk us about the, yeah, I guess, the, the marketing side of things. So in terms of the, the schedule, I try and post something on just the story, the daily story that everyone can see once a day, just to stay present and in the, in the minds of people, I guess, but then more of that reels and there's more structured content. That's something that I'm trying to post once a week. So later in the week, there'll be something about a exercise reel or workout reel or something like that. 